I'm Michelangelo and I love pizza. Nom, 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 nom. Okay, this is definitely made for a child's head. Whew. So it's finally time for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2014. Is that what they're calling it? Well, current day Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Heroes in a Half Shell movie to come out. And in this version, April O'Neil, reporter on the street, is going to be played by the beautiful Megan Fox. So today we're gonna be recreating that look. Is Splinter in this one? Or is that like old school? Let's get started. I'm gonna start with hair and in preparation, I'm gonna add a little bit of like darker and reddish color weave from my weave arsenal to kind of get more of the April O'Neil feel to my hair. Megan Fox's version of April O'Neil has really pretty wavy long hair. So I'm gonna try to replicate those waves with this curling wand. She has a slight side part in this, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now so I know that my waves are going in the right direction. Now let's get busy with this. Just start curling away from your face. And you can also do this with a curling iron. Whew, I'm sweating. And I only burn myself like six times. After you've curled your whole head, you can just kind of go through it if you need to and break up any like solid ringlety looking waves if it looks too done. So now that we're done with the hair, we're gonna move on to the makeup. I am first just gonna add a little bit of blush. Um, she's pretty fair skinned in this, not looking like super bronzed or anything, so I'm gonna skip the bronzer for now. Now I am gonna contour my nose a little bit because Megan Fox has a cute little tiny nose, which I was definitely not born with. I am just going to take a little bit of dark concealer and kind of contour my nose just a tad to make it look a little slimmer. Now for shadow, it looks like she's got like a light silvery gray from her lash line to her crease. So I'm gonna just pop this bad boy on that area. And then on the crease, kind of blend it up, she's got a nude, like taupey brown color. The boldest thing about this makeup look is that she had a nice bold dash of black eyeliner. Megan Fox has those beautiful almond shaped eyes, so to try to replicate that, I'm going to extend the eyeliner just a little bit past my natural um, end of my eye, and it'll just elongate the eye just a tad. Now to finish off the eye, I'm just gonna pop on some false lashes because she has very luxurious, long, beautiful lashes in this. Now just a little swipe of mascara to blend your real lashes and the fake lashes. Get those suckers really meshed together. The other major thing about this look is the brows. They're dark and bold, so I'm gonna use this dip brow pomade to really get like a great shape going on. Now the only thing left to do is do the lips, which were pretty natural with like a little tiny touch of pink. So I'm just gonna use this little pink chubby stick to just dab a little bit on. Now I sadly don't have that iconic April O'Neil yellow um, trench coat jacket deal that she's always wearing. But I did see some shots of Megan Fox wearing a fatigue kind of jacket. So I do have one of those from like circa 06. But because I'm missing the yellow jacket, I'm going to make up for it by painting my nails a nice yellow. I'm just gonna do like a quick cursory job so we can just kind of get the idea. Okay, I'm giving up right now because this just happened. I'm feeling nail polish everywhere. But you get the idea. Paint your nails yellow for an April O'Neil inspired manicure. Okay, that's it for our Megan Fox's April O'Neil in the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles inspired tutorial with my half done nails. If you want to see more pop culture inspired makeup tutorials, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you next time. Cowabunga, dude.